now, so this is great and perfect timing, guys, because uh, we just finished all of our candidates. We have our vice presidential candidate in the room to introduce him. So our vice presidential candidate, Wayne Allen Root, uh, otherwise known as the Energizer Bunny of the Libertarian <laughs> Party. <laughs> yeah. I was simple. To, to, to introduce him will be Mike Ferguson. He is the, I believe, Midwest coordinator for the Bob Barr for President campaign, longtime friend and uh, very much admired Mike Ferguson from Kansas. <laughs> up here in a way that hopefully you won't notice that I'm using them. Um, but uh, thank you for letting me come up here and uh, speak. There's a lot of faces, a lot of names I see here that uh, we, we go back a long time. Uh, we, we go back, uh, we've uh, worked together, we've fought together, we've fought with each other, we've, uh, we've stood shoulder to shoulder in the Libertarian Party and in the Ron Paul organizations. We, we've done a lot of work together and it's so much fun to see and so exciting to see how far we've come, even in the last four years. Four years ago when I was running for lieutenant governor of the seat that Teddy's running for now, to know that we could come to St. Louis and see a room full of people two nights in a row uh, was, it would have, would have been a pipe dream for us. And, and it just shows the growth of our party and the maturity of our party. Um, and I really feel fortunate because right now, and some of you have known me for over 10 years, I get to get up every morning and go to work doing something I believe passionately in. I get to go to work for liberty as a profession. And I've worked for this for a long time. And over the, the past couple of months, I've been in many states across the country, most of them in the Midwest. Um, I was also dispatched out to West Virginia to get the petition drive started there. Uh, we are struggling there. If you have questions about that, let me know. A little bit later I'll fill you in on the details, but one of the things that's it's been amazing through email and through my visits around the country is all the new faces we're seeing. The other night in Ohio, I was in Columbus, Ohio, and they said we're going to have a representative of the Bob Barr campaign come. Over 50 people showed up on short notice for a cookout just to hear a representative of the campaign. I don't even think they used my name. Not If it would have, it wouldn't have helped. But it came out, and there were so many people that came out to me and said, I was a Republican for so many years. There were some people come saying, I was a Democrat for so many years. I've had enough. What do I do? Put me to work. I've had it. And that's what we're doing is we're bringing in with this campaign people from both of the major parties, people with the Ron Paul organizations who have been independent or inactive and not active in politics, and this is our opportunity this year. What's uniting everybody is the values and the message that we stand for. It's the passion for freedom. It's the passion for the things that transcend political ideology and religious view and race and age and levels of education. And that's what we have to offer. It's the message that Ron Paul picked up and took farther down the field than I ever thought I was going to see in my life during this presidential campaign. You know, he's the first to say it. It didn't start with him. He picked it up and carried it. I'm very happy that Ron Paul is continuing to spread this message. I said this in Columbia last night. If you haven't picked up The Revolution, you've got to. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. And he's still spreading our message, but we've got to make sure that that message continues to be spread in the presidential campaign. And we are the only party that is capable of doing that. The only one. And we cannot neglect the presidential campaign. It's crucial to our party, it's crucial to our organization, but most importantly, it is crucial <coughs> to our country. Now more than ever, they must hear the message of freedom. They must hear the message of lower taxes, especially when we're in a recession. They must hear the value of privacy, especially in an era of homeland security and fighting the terrorism. They must hear property rights, especially when the key word is economic development. They must hear what is truly important. The reason that we work so hard to improve is not because of numbers or statistics that Lloyd is so fond of, but it's because of people and freedom, and we have to have that as a basis of our country. I feel fortunate because I do work for the only campaign that is going to be able to deliver that message public, the only one. I work for the only campaign that is about to have an impact, the only one that can have a real impact on this country because I work for Bob Barr and I work for Wayne Allen Root. 
and I'm very proud to say that that's what I do full time. This is the strongest libertarian ticket that we have ever had in our party. It's the strongest. And the benefits of this are not going to be just the millions of votes that we're going to win this year. The benefits come with the new people that are coming into this party. Former Republicans, former Democrats, former Independents, Ron Paul supporters, property rights activists, Second Amendment activists, a litany of other people. But it's also going to benefit our state parties and our local parties. We're setting up county organizations throughout the Midwest. We're going to leave behind organized county libertarian organizations where there weren't any before, and we're going to leave behind stronger county organizations where there were some before. We're going to leave behind stronger states. In 2010, the full benefit of this campaign is going to be shown through with your help and with your support. We're going to see more state legislators elected, more local candidates elected. In 2012, who knows, maybe there's a Secretary of State's position or State Treasurer or State Auditor somewhere. This is the campaign that's going to launch us to the next level to become the major player that we can become. I've been in this party 13 years. It's the only political party I've been involved with in 13 years. Who else has been in this party for five years at least? About half of us. Ten years? <laughs> this is what we've been working for. This is what we've been working for. How many times have we argued amongst ourselves saying, if we only had a strong ticket, if we only had a presidential campaign that we could be proud of, that could, that could have coattails for the down ticket, if we only had something credible that people could picture in the White House, what could we do? With your support, we're going to find out this year. It's no secret our fundraising is not where it used to be. We need your help. Patty Tweedle is our Missouri State Coordinator for this campaign. She needs your help. If you have not gotten involved in your county organization, see Patty. Get involved. If there is no county organization, she's going to sign you up. If there's no organization on your campus, she's going to sign you up. We need your activity. We, yes, we need your money, too. We've got to keep Wayne on the road. We've got to keep Bob on the road. We've got to keep me on the road. We've got to keep Russ on the road. We've got to keep Richard on the road. We've got to keep all of us working and actively building not just this campaign, but this party for now and the future. And that's why I'm really happy to be here, see old friends, see new friends, and give you the opportunity to hear from the man we've nominated to be the vice presidential nominee and pick for our party. And please give a warm welcome to Wayne Elliott.